He said, you have heard it say, hate your enemies, love those that bless you. He said, but I say, bless your enemies. Because I didn't say the first one. So let me put the record straight. In Matthew chapter 5, the entire teaching of Matthew 5 is Jesus putting the record straight. I'm teaching here. Matthew 5 is Jesus correcting Moses. You have read, but I say. You have read, but... And everything is said contradicted what you read. Then to make matters worse, he started healing on the Sabbath day. Which is against the law. Then they said to Jesus, why are you doing a miracle on Sabbath day? He said, the Sabbath man is not made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath is made for man. Moreover, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. He's putting the record straight. He's putting the record straight. In Luke chapter 9, hey, <laughs> Jesus wants to go to a city. He wants to go to a city to do crusade. And a particular access city said he cannot pass through. They blocked their town. And Jesus wanted to pass through. They blocked their town and said, you cannot come through our town. The disciples came and said, Jesus, look at those stupid people in that village. This way will have been shorter for us, but they have locked their city. Jesus said, leave them alone. They said, no, uh -uh, don't disappoint us. Elijah, when some people confronted him, he commanded fire to come from heaven. Jesus, I think what you should do is, you are better than Elijah. Elijah is a boy to you. How can Elijah not take it? You take it. Let us command fire to wipe away the village so we can pass. Jesus said, shut up. You don't know what spirit you are. That means if Jesus was here in the time of Elijah, he would have rebuked Elijah for calling fire down. Because he never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he rebuked them for that in Luke, he would have rebuked Elijah for that. So that's why when you pray, Lord, send another Elijah here. The question I'm asking is, to come and do what? What is Elijah coming to do? How can sons be on ground and you're calling for servants? How can sons be here and you're calling for servants? These are not the days of the manifestation of servants. These are the days of the manifestation of the sons. Now are we the sons. Somebody's not shouting amen here. See that. Luke 954. Put it up. Speak in tongues for a second. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what manner of spirit you are. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, not fire, come down. The spirit of his son is not crying fire come down. The spirit of his son is crying Abba Father. For the son of man is not come to destroy men's lives but to save them. And they went to another village. He said leave that village. Let's look another town. Let's use another site. If it's today's church, they will start fall and die. Fall and die. By fire. By fire. Be roasted. Be cooked. Be roasted. Anybody praying that prayer is an agent of Satan. It's an agent of Satan. You know why? Sit down. John 10.10. 10. The thief cometh not, uh, help me, but for to steal and stop there. God is not the killer. No, it's the saver. So anybody praying for people to die has accepted an appointment in Satan's operational system yes. to assist Satan to kill. Jesus said, no, I don't kill people. And if he didn't kill people, he never killed people. And he will never kill people. Because he never changes. Who is killing people? Jesus reveals it to us. It's Satan. 
who killed people in the old testament satan when the prophet spoke and the ground opened and people were swallowed who was in operation satan but it's a prophet who spoke that's why it worked because he used his authority instead of promoting the kingdom he gave satan a license to wipe away people i'm not here to destroy lives i am come that you may have life not to take away your life i'm a life giver i'm not a life taker the thief is the life taker i'm teaching here sit down let's talk yes the last enemy sh that shall be destroyed is death so death is an enemy of god how can god use it over the people he wants to save how can god use the last enemy over the people he loves over the people he died for remember jesus didn't die for the church he died for the world even the wicked man in your village the will of god for him is to be saved not to die that's why all your prayer for witches to die don't walk if you finally walk is one out of a thousand and that one it was by chance satan took it and went to walk and that's witchcraft so there's witchcraft happening in churches today they say seven days fasting arresting the arrester open your mouth now anybody that is behind you let him die and everybody will go to work it's a witchcraft system because jesus is not in that prayer meeting and the holy ghost is not in that prayer meeting because the holy ghost is here to glorify jesus and jesus is here to save lives i'm teaching here i said i'm teaching here in that same law of moses where the bible talks about what to wear and what not to wear if you read very carefully he also said we should not build houses with balcony it's in that same chapter he said you should not wear cloth of diverse colors and he said you should not wear cloth of different materials he said you should not eat fish with scale and you should not build steps and if you break one you break all and all of us are victims so if that law still binds we are we are hell bound all in the same chapter that is why jesus came to fulfill the demands what the lord demanded jesus came to fulfill how do we know kebatona galatians 4 4 but when the fullness of time was come god sent forth his son made of a woman made under jesus functioned under the law why that was the only way he could fulfill the demands of the law when he fulfilled it he abolished it he put an end on it he took a death nail and nailed it and he said it's over rusticated and now he said the new testament will not be a document i will put it in your heart the new testament is not a document it's in your heart because the new testament is man's access to god free relationship you know me i know you 